Hello, in this video, I will be talking about aromatase inhibitors side effects and how long they last. Just briefly, aromatase inhibitors are used in people who have no functioning ovaries, whose tumors are positive for the hormone receptors, estrogen and or progesterone. Before I go on, I'd love to invite you to subscribe. And if you're interested in whether aromatase inhibitors might be part of your treatment plan, you can go to yerba.com to get your personalized report. So aromatase inhibitors are an incredibly powerful class of medication in treating people with estrogen receptor positive or progesterone receptor positive breast cancer. They work by decreasing estrogen in your body even after your ovaries stop working, or if you have never had ovaries, your body makes estrogen in other parts of the body, like the fat, the breast tissue, and some glands on top of your kidneys called the adrenal glands. Stopping production of estrogen by blocking the enzyme that converts androgens, or male sex hormones, to estrogens can cause a complete remission and it can decrease the risk of people having their cancer come back if they've had early stage breast cancer. So these are really important drugs in the treatment of breast cancer. They do have side effects, of course. Even placebos have side effects. So of course, active medications will have side effects as well. And the side effects predominantly relate to the fact that estrogen in the body is lowered to pretty much unmeasurable levels. So with no estrogen in the body, there are some side effects that are pretty predictable and in fact do occur. So what are long-term side effects of the aromatase inhibitors? There are two major categories. There's the category that you feel almost immediately after you start to take them. So joint aches and pains. Some people get hair thinning. People get vaginal dryness because without estrogen in the body, we have sexual side effects like vaginal dryness and other sexual side effects, difficulty achieving orgasm and lubrication, for example. Some people have hair thinning. It can be quite subtle or it can be really pronounced and really troublesome to people. So these are long-term side effects because you're on the medicine for a long time. Other side effects that the other class of side effects include things that you're not necessarily aware of day to day, but that you'll notice when you go to the doctor's office or if you have a test. And those relate to heart health, like an increase in low density lipoproteins or LDL cholesterol, also called bad cholesterol. This won't necessarily lead to symptoms, but it is something that is a long-term side effect. Another long-term side effect is higher blood pressure. Again, you may not be symptomatic from high blood pressure, but you'll notice it when you check your blood pressure. Another is thinning of the bones or a decrease in bone mineral density. All of these come about because of lower estrogen in the body. So how long do side effects last? Well, symptomatic side effects will often improve as soon as you stop the drug. Remember, all of these are long-term because you're on drugs, these medications, for a long time. So they're going to last as long as you're on the medicine. Then once you stop them and your estrogen levels go back up, those side effects will get better. Joint aches and pains, muscle pains, problems with sleep, problems with vaginal uh, dryness and other sexual side effects will get better as your estrogen levels return to normal. Your hair should return to normal as well. So these side effects can be reversed very quickly after you stop the medication. Now in terms of cardiovascular side effects or long-term effects like effects on the blood pressure, cholesterol, the bone, for example, those will return to normal they'll return rather to what they would have been if you hadn't been on the medications at all, but they won't necessarily return to normal. So over time, cholesterol goes up. Over time, our blood pressure will go up. Over time, our bones will thin with age. And this is very common. So stopping the aromatase inhibitors will not improve your bone density to somebody whose bone density is completely normal because over the years, your bone mineral density will decline 
over the years, more and more people are likely to be diagnosed with hypertension and higher cholesterol. So you can have a normal cholesterol and then in your 80s be found to have higher cholesterol and be found to have hypertension. That would have happened anyway, but the special impact of the aromatase inhibitors will wash out. Bone health is an interesting thing. We've studied people on aromatase inhibitors compared to people not on aromatase inhibitors when we were first doing the studies. And what we have found is, although bone density decreases over time, when you come off the aromatase inhibitors, it will go back to what it would have been based on your age. So our bone mineral density decreases as we get older with time, and your bone mineral density will start to go back up to what it would have been without the aromatase inhibitor. It won't go back to where it was before you started because time has passed, but it will go back up to what it would have been without your being on the aromatase inhibitor. Of course, you can't be your own control, so it's not possible to say what it would have been had you not been on the aromatase inhibitor but we have what are called age-matched controls, and we know what people in your age group, what their bone mineral density would have been, and if you had it checked before, during, or after, you'll see that it won't decrease at the same amount. So m most of the really troublesome, bothersome quality of life side effects will get better after a couple of weeks to a couple of months, and then in terms of your heart health, and blood pressure, cholesterol, and bone mineral density, they will go back to what they would have been, though not as good as when you started just because time has elapsed. I've covered a lot. I've hoped it's been helpful. Put a comment or question below. We get back to you within a week or two. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to go to yerba.com. Thank you so much for watching.